It's always a good day to talk about the SNES. So, first game, you know, first new game is Super Mario Kart. The first Mario Kart game got Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Toad, Koopa Troopa, Yoshi, and Donkey Kong Jr. Looking real cool. And on to the last new game that I got. We got Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. That, that that Super Mario World 2 is only there for name recognition. And yeah, so um a while ago, um like a couple months ago, I got I you know I found an SNES. It was a great, it was a great I had a great time. I showed off the games that I got, you know, when I first got it, you know, uh, I got Super Mario World, Super Mario All-Star, and the first two Donkey Kong games. Unfortunately, no Donkey Kong 3, unfortunate. So, uh, let's talk about Super Mario Kart. So, now owning Super Mario Kart, I own almost every, I've now played, I don't own most of the market, but I have now played almost every single Mario Kart game. I've played the original now, I've played the GBA version. I've played the DS version, the Wii version, the 3DS version, and the Wii U version. Meaning that I'm only missing two, which is Double Dash and Mario Kart 64. And if I ever do, I highly doubt that I'll be able to play, you know, uh, I highly doubt I'll be able to play Double Dash, but you know, 64, you know, 64, I, I do have a big chance of playing that as, you know, I could get it from the Wii U eShop, but you know, it's, it's cool, you know. Uh, and Yoshi's Island. Who doesn't like Yoshi's Island? Yoshi's Island is a great game. The music, the designs, and whatnot. Who? I guess like you know, no one likes the, when when you get hit and then Mario starts crying like uh, like you know he's like crying. But everyone loves the game. I love it. It's it's cool. It has a great soundtrack, good music, man. Uh, just it's just a great Yoshi game. Uh, you know, Yoshi's great outing in his own 2D side-scrolling adventure. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it for, you know, those two games, you know, and so I'm going to now be talking about the, um, older games that, you know, I guess they're all old, but, you know, the ones that I had already showed before. So, Mario, Mario, so, I, d it's very ironic, it is very ironic, you know, when I first got the SNES, the only thing I could think about is, man, I can't wait to get Super Mario World, and lucky for me, I did find a copy of Super Mario World, and also All-Stars, and the other Donkey Kong games, and, well, you see, I always thought that the first thing I would do is beat Super Mario World, finally, for the first time on original hardware, well, things did not go that way. I ended up beating the first, I ended up beating Mario Bros. 1 on the All-Star Collection. Like, can, can you blame me, man? Can, can you blame me, man? I love Super Mario World, but here's the thing. I've played through Mario World so many times, because as I said, I love the game, so obviously, I've played through the game a lot of times, so I kind of didn't want to like, I didn't really feel like playing the game again. But there we, uh, there, it's just sitting over there, Super Mario Bros. 1, I was like, man, like, I, th that wouldn't, this one doesn't be the first time that I beat the Super Mario Bros. 1 from the All-Star Collection. I uh, actually already beat that on the, on the Switch. I actually think, I, I thought I didn't beat it, but no, I speed ran through that game. And the same thing happened with this when I played it on there. And, you know, I used to, you know, not get what people meant by CRT, original is better, but man, you know, after actually playing it on original hardware on a CRT, man, there's just something so much smoother, crisper, and the way the camera moves on, like, a CRTV, it just feels better than, like, on the Switch. Like, when I was playing through Super Mario World, and, you know, like, the game felt good, you know, I didn't really notice too much input lag, but, like, I don't know, man, but more, but, like, more in, like, Mario Bros. 1. A lot of the stuff that I did in Mario Bros. 1 on the SNES, I genuinely felt like I would not have been able to do the stuff that I did on original hardware. There's just like this, like, as I said, zero input delay, and like, once once you really realize that zero input delay, you realize, yeah, yeah, you know, original hardware is really good when it comes to that stuff, so, yeah, um, that's neat, so, uh, I don't know. Hopefully next I will be beating Super Mario World, considering that is kind of the reason why I wanted an SNES. But yeah, you know, Mar Mario Kart, Mar the first Mario Kart is pretty cool, and Yoshi's Island. I uh, know. Uh, I've started Yoshi's Island a couple times on the SNES, you know, online thing, but 
I never beat it, so, you know. If I am going to beat any of these SNES games that I do have, I'm going to beat them there, because, well, why would I beat them, you know, on there when I have most of these games already? Like, what I'm looking for in terms of, like, like, I'm looking for Kirby, um, I'm hoping that I can get Kirby's Superstars, I don't know what it's called, but, you know, you know, the, the one Kirby game with, like, you know, all the Kirby games mixed in, like, little Kirby stories, I'm hoping to get that one, one day, but I don't know, and also, you know, Donkey Kong Country 3, cause, you know, if I, uh, since I have the first two games, you know, I kind of want the third one, you know what I mean, but, yeah, um, that, that's about it for this video. There's nothing really more to talk about. There's really nothing more to talk about. I, you know, I, I can't really make any more of these videos until I get more games, you know, for the SNES, but, yeah. All in all, SNES, a great console. I'm so happy that I now get to finally experience it like kids back then. So, I hope you enjoyed this SNES continuation of my SNES journey, and I will see you all in the next video, and goodbye.